these are the cards I'm opening. The Xmas Mystery Brick. Only 50 bricks available. Yes, I got one. We are pleased to present to you the Christmas Bundle. This bundle includes 12 random Riffle Shuffle decks with 12 random stickers, accompanied by two random Riffle Shuffle half brick boxes from past releases. A perfect combination to both expand, display, and store on your own in in your growing collection. Yeah, you're not joking, growing collection. <laughs> this is like doubling it. <laughs> this box includes Play Dead V2 Gold Gilded Edition. Only 50 of these exist, and they are numbered. 50 of these decks, and there is one in this box. Seven sold out decks from our staff's personal collection, so just seven decks from previous sales that you can't buy anymore. Four decks that you probably can buy, and then two half brick boxes from past releases, some random stickers, the value is supposedly about $200. Not too fucked about the value. Paid a hundred and... what is it? hundred and ten dollars. Um, and then it's like thirty dollars for shipping, so I basically paid a hundred and forty dollars for this. We're using a pen. Oh yes! We're in. Oh. 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 I'm glad I'm not a headphone user. RSB is a star, and this, the deck that this is based around is uh, of the star. This one's also Cyrus B. That's actually really cool to get. This one is Cyrus B version 3, and I think this is Cyrus B version 1. I can't remember, I think that's what that one is. I did actually want this deck. Oh, it's got. It's got the ripples on the top of it. Oh, that's nice. This one. I do you like that? Right, which one do we open first? Oh, actually, this one's got the stickers in it, so we'll open this one first. Oh, lovely bit. Riffle Shuffle King Arthur. They look so fucking nice. Oh, this is number 424 of 2500. There we go, that's the seal side. They look so nice. It's King Arthur, bro. They're like an em they've got like an emerald foil on them as well. Dude, they are so fucking nice. Okay, you should be able to see it better now. Look at that, that's fucking awesome. And then there's that on that side. Dude, that is actually fucking awesome. I love that. Should we break the seal? Or should we just go in from the bottom? Oh, you can't. You'll end up rip ripping the box. God damn it, I actually do need a knife now. Number 424 of 2500. We're in. It's done. Luke's gonna cry now. Oh, it's got the Holy Grail on it. Truly, it's the holy ground, then we got the sun and the moon on the, either sides there. That's real cool. Oh, and then we got like, some weird Jesus related symbol there. And then another grail on that side. Very cool. There's no... Ooh, what's on the bottom? Stonehenge. Yeah, there's like Stonehenge in the bottom of here or something. It's so difficult. Oh, there we go. Basically, that rock, there's three of them along the side. Oh, it's not the Joker. It's the Jester. Oof. That bad boy. There's so much going on. There's always more stuff to find. Like, there's this fire in the background of it. Trick, 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 trick. Hang on. We're looking at cards. Whoa. That's so nice. Drink. <laughs> right, oh, and then we get a red jester as well. That's red jester. Kill, kill jester. That's the year uh, the ace. A lovely lady of the lake there. Beautiful. Oh, and then they've all got like a little, a little tiny pattern on all. Oh, it's the lady of the lake. 
the things there if it'll not focus on my arm. I know this gun's impressive, but oh, it's not doing it. Take my word for it, there is a little a little thing on there. Got this bad boy. Who is he? We will never know. There we go. Look at that bad boy. Yeah, it can show us the little pattern as well in the top. Then we got the queen. Very nice. I don't have a clue if she's anyone important. Same with this guy. I don't have a clue. And he looks nothing like Arthur. I don't think he's supposed to be King Arthur. He's probably supposed to be whoever King Arthur kills at some point. I don't know the legend of King Arthur other than he pulled some sword out of a stone somewhere. Ooh, this Joker's got armor on. Look at him. Big army boy. Oh my god, is that guy William Wallace? The, the next king I'm fairly sure is William Wallace. That was the queen. And then the king. Look at that button. I'm fairly sure that's William Wallace. And then you, you, you get the idea. They're all very similar. We'll speed run these ones. Because we do have a lot to get through actually. Um, depending on how many we actually do open. It's so difficult using the preview to figure out which way you need to actually win them. And then finally, oh, these guys are just the same as the uh, the other ones, the uh, the black ones. And that King Arthur deck, the back deck is the sword and stuff. Very nice. Moving on, bicycle monkey king playing cards. Oh, I have one of those feelings that this is actually like a rare deck of cards. We'll have to see what Luke Luke says. They are very nice. Ah, they're about a tenner. Fuck it. We'll open these. See, this has a plastic deck to it, whereas these are like a card. But that's like the thing about bicycle, they don't spend too much on the deck, because they know they don't need to. Oh, let's have a look what this says. Oh, it's just telling us that they're bicycle. Cool. See, there's not that much going on with the deck. Back of the cards. Two lovely monkey fellas. Oh, there we go. There we go. We've got a lovely monkey face. And then that's like the uh, advertising card for Rush for Shuffle. Oh, we've got a double cider. We have a double cider, everybody. Looks like a fucking anime. Jesus Christ. That's a very uh, stylized card. If you like, like, cartoons and stuff. I'm very sure you'll like this deck of cards. Oh dude, you can see the different colours in the deck as well. Oh, the, the two major colours. you got green here, and then you got a darker colour there. And then a dark green, and then like a more bluer colour there. There's like a purple there. We have the Ace of Spades. It's an angry monkey. Angry boy. And then that's what the... And the normal thing's always a bit like a banana in it. And then the fruit. Jack of spades. Yeah, I think I'd be getting spades mixed up with hearts quite often in this deck. But he's like fighting some other bananas or some shit like that. I don't know. The queen has a heart. But that's the uh, thing they used for hearts. Again, I'm trying to think. There's something I've seen that has a very similar vibe to these. I just can't quite get it down. And so these are the diamonds. They've got leaves on them. Ooh. There we go, we've got a monkey saving a damsel in distress from a volcano. We have a monkey causing lightning and rain. We have monkey on a pogo stick. What, what would you call that? Yeah, dancing on a pogo stick's close enough. Here we have fire monkey. That's, uh, that's, the, that's the clubs. And then we have dragon monkey. He is uh, fighting a dragon. Very cool. And here we have fish monkey. <laughs> He's uh, riding a fish. I can't quite figure out what that actually is. Is it, a, is it supposed to be a cloud? Or like some cotton or something in a field? I'm unsure. Oh, looks. That's not good. Another fire monkey. He's the heart. Jumping monkey. That's the queen of hearts. Love monkey. He's the jack of hearts. Ooh. She loves him so much. Wow. Some kind of, is it strawberry? 
Yeah, it might be a strawberry. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's the monkeys. Oh, those are opposite. Those are uh, opposite colors. Isn't that nice? These are called watches. And I know these won't be expensive. And they've got like a weird outline of weird line drawing. Right, so some owls staring at us. That's that's the theme. I'm not sure you get the theme of these, but these are owls. That's a double-sided owl. There's two of them. And we've got a lovely red hearts thing. It's got I think that's the feathery effect on there. Okay, wasn't expecting this. Man. These actually remind me a lot of my shark card. The uh, the man. The style of the man. And the style of the uh, the animal as well, actually. There's a woman. Yeah, th these are exactly the same as the uh, the shark cards I've got. Uh, in orange instead. So I am, I will be honest, that is kind of disappointing. That they've just kind of gone with the animal bandwagon. But whatever. Oh, they're part of a series. Ah, oh, okay. That does make more sense. I mean, I don't know why I didn't just conclude that they were part of a series. Did we get Alice the fox ones for her Christmas or something? I feel like we did. Big strong man. Another orange man. Diamond. Oh, need some butt in that one. And uh, another orange man. And there's the uh, diamond. Very nice. Two eyes. There's the Jokers. Uh, I've just, just clocked on that those are the Jokers. Kinda of weird, I do like that. That's a funky, funky way of doing it. Man with sword. Woman with sword. Man with dagger. The Ace of Spades. It is a bit funky, innit? And there we go. Those are uh, the owl cards. Watcher. Because owls watch you. Skateboard. Playing cards. And I remember, the first time I looked at Riffle Shuffle, I saw these cards and I wanted them. It's all that. So uh, this is rather special. Skateboard playing cards company. It's like it's just a a joke on bicycle really. It's all funny. Not the Converse logo though. I highly doubt they've worked with Converse to make them. There is the uh, the funky backside. A lot going on on there actually. The man with a face. Ten dollars sold out on Ruffle Shuffle website. Yeah, second edition, red. Produced by Kevin Yu. Designed by Dario Gennari. Gennari. Ah, oh, we're still looking at like a tenner online for these. Skater boy cards. Do what you love and love what you do. There we go, that's a message from the creator. To everyone out there. Do what you love and love what you do. Stay in school. Okay, these are odd. Right, so. Advertising card. Yours. And that is the same as the bomb. Right. And then this is odd. Okay, I've never seen this in a deck of cards. And I have like a fair few decks of cards. Jack of spades. Right. Seven of hearts. For some reason, if you ever wanted to do a trick where you were swapping out the jack of spades for the seven of hearts, there you go, I suppose. These are very basic, I do like these, it's very simplistic. Oh bro, he's a skater boy. Oh, this is sick. Easily my... This actually might be my favourite deck. She's got a longboard. Dude. Oh, she's got a selfie stick as well. Oh, it's a GoPro. It's a GoPro. I love it. I wonder if they're based on actual skaters. It's, um, it's just, I love it. This actually might be my favourite deck. It's so basic. Bro. Look at the detailing on that. His, his uh, headphones have clubs on. She's got a rose, a lollipop, I think. I wouldn't be surprised if these are based on like, like kind of like the style choices of them. I wouldn't be surprised if they're based on actual um, skaters. Like, he looks like that guy out of Jackass, I'll be honest. And the guy out of Jackass is a skater. Right, this man's got a burger. He is the Burger King. Okay, I've definitely seen someone who looks similar to her at some point. But then again, they are very generic skatery. These are actually sick. See, if he didn't have the curls, I'd maybe consider him to be Rodney Mullins. 
and then the basic bitch. Dude, th this actually, I legitimately think this is my favorite deck out of all of them. It, it's up there, easily top two, easily. This or the devil, the devil deck, they're just so cool. I'm absolutely fanboying over such a basic bitch deck. I fucking love it. She's got wine in that one. And there we go. The Ace of Spades. Hold it over skateboard. Eat, sleep, skate. And the two jokers. There we go. Skateboard. Dude, I really freaking love that deck. It's an awesome deck. Truly an awesome deck. Oh, this one's got a seal number on it. I don't remember mine having a seal number on it. Oh, it does have a seal number. Exactly the same deck. But it's just the, uh, the 666. Uh, what do they call it? Purple... Is it Purple Inferno, was it? I can't remember. But I'm going to leave that sealed. Just because I already own that deck. I backed it on Kickstarter. I already have a video on that on my YouTube channel. And the one that I have is number 274 out of 266. And then the one I have sealed is number 2133 out of 266. So, and then finally, these are a deck that I could have backed on Kickstarter. But I thought, nah bro. The Sirocco. Modern playing cards. These again will be sold out, Luke. These are the Sirocco. Now I don't actually know... I don't know much about these cards. The wind is fierce. Yeah, something our sails. Oh yeah, it fills our sails. Oh, are they about like Nautilus? Like just flying about and shit. I thought it was based on like a casino or something. When night falls, see by the stars. $15 on that one. Not 15 quid even. 15 entire Great British Pound. That's very shiny. Very shiny. Look at the shine, man. It's like on the camera, it just, you can't quite pick it all up, like you can't take it all in. He is to smooth sailing. Another thing that we've not seen is any of the other decks. They're sealed inside here. Not much. Oh, we've got a double sider, everybody. Look at that, we can become magicians now. <laughs> That's actually quite a nice advertising card. Alright, so that's the uh, the one of hearts in it. We've got... It's a weird... Why isn't the focus working very well anymore? Spanish fella. Who is prepared to... Uh, romantic a lady. We have the lady he's going to romantic. Is that Wonder Woman? A man tying a noose? Oh my god, it is, I think. Or is he shaving? Like he's got like a noosey bit around his neck right there. A lighthouse. Very nice lighthouse. Uh, there's the normal cubes. See, I do like decks like this where all of the ones have uh, different patterns on them rather than just just the the Ace of Spades having. And then we have a a seasoned traveller. We have a lady with some rather... She, she's ready for the beach, shall we say. I don't know what that is. It, it's Javier, her scuba instructor. He, here's Javier's brother. Um, he, he, he has the brains in the family. Uh, and is also an alcoholic from the looks of it. Uh, we've got Mystic Meg. She believes in the healing souls and stuff. We have the policeman from Jaws. He's prepared to catch some shrimp. Yeah, there's the diamonds. Like kites. Just a nice pattern on there. I mean, if you like boats, you probably do like this. It means it's a captain. She's repairing a sail, I think. And he is navigating. He's on, he's on his way. He's got hair like mine. And then that's the basic bitch. Spade, ace of spades. Uh, so that boat's using sonar. 
the looks of it. There's like an alien spaceship above everyone, and they're off home. That's what I get from that. There's one of the jokers, a lovely female, with their fruits in her basket. And then we've got a strong man depositing wind into the uh, the world. And that is half brick box number one. We're halfway there, everybody. Now all of the stickers that we're going to pull out of this one will probably all be sitting on the side of my uh, PC by the end of this. We're going to look at these first. Which deck's that from, Luke? I genuinely have no clue. I'm gonna guess it might be the Sirocco, the um, yeah, the Sirocco one, like the uh, the other Sirocco one. But I'm not entirely sure. This sticker is the Gourmet deck, the Emerald Reserve. They were sold at the same time that the Purple Reserve was sold. I genuinely have absolutely no fucking clue. What the fuck is that? I think it's made of fruit or something. But is that actually it? Deep Forest. That is Bicycle Deep Forest. Oh, these probably came with the um, King Arthur ones. But the other colour of the King Arthur ones. Oh no, he seems to be on it. But this is from Eternal Rain Ruby. This came with the King Arthur ones. The shiny version of the King Arthur ones, like this is the rarer one you can get. Oh, this is from a Sirius. Well, I don't know which Sirius. Sirius... I'm gonna go with this Sirius, like, the V1, which is what this box is of. Oh no, it seems to be from the Explorer. Oh, I've never seen those before. Oh, they're on sale as well. Oh, I like those. Those are nice. Jerry's Nugget. Jerry's Nug Nug. A special brand. Jerry's Nugget is a special brand. In the 1970s, Jerry's Nugget's playing cards were brought to life. So these were made for the 50th anniversary. This motherfucker's so from the skateboarding one. I mean, it is the size of a card as well, which is quite cool. Unless it's from a deck with neon on it or something. Ah! That one will be from Hyper Neon, won't it? This one's called Soundboard V3 Midnight. That's literally just a sticker of the back of the card. It's so annoying that they don't have like, what deck they're from written on the back or something. Again, I think I know where that one's from. I'd better find it on the Riffle Shuffle store. I'd guess this is from like, a different version of the Pop Stars or something. And then we've got Vegetables. And soup. <laughs> Why? Right, so we spent ages trying to find these, but they're from the Instant Noodles playing card stack. Got some shark cards. Literally have these sat over there. So, again, I've got, I've got another video of those on my YouTube channel. So I don't need to open those. Sirocco Weathered. Um, might look into whether or not those are exactly the same as the other Sirocco cards, because if they are, I'll leave these sealed as well. Same design, different colours, as far as I can tell. I mean, if it's the same design, different colours, this box has got like a bumpy feeling to it. Uh, yeah, just the, uh, the weathered ones are like, weathered. So they're a bit, they're a bit scratched and iffy in places. It's the only difference. So I'm going to leave those sealed as well, purely because we've already seen those. Pop stars. $10 and in stock. So if you want to pick these up, they're still in stock. Should we find out if you'll actually want to do that though? Pop star. Pop star playing cards. Pop stars. Like the video game, innit? Wow. Let's dance. Wow, but wait, there's another one now. <laughs> We've even got a double cider. Hell yeah. I mean, that's not that's not a bad design to be fair. It's kind of like they aimed for it to look like a piano on the side. And I fucking love that. It carries it on nicely. That's really cool. That is really cool. 
pick a card any card. Look at that, it flows around. Oh, hello. John Lennon. Amy Winehouse. Oh, dude, if you like pop, fuck me. Elvis Presley. He's the king. Dude. These are actually awesome. Now we got the Snoop Dogg in the house. Whoever came up with these is actually a fucking good. Look who it is. He's the queen. Dude. Freddie Mercury. Boom. We got there. We got there. I don't know who that is. Is it Bob Marley? No, he's got a tattoo on his forehead. I don't remember Bob Marley having a tattoo on his forehead. I don't know who that's supposed to be. David Bowie? Dude, if you like pop, and I know a lot of people that like pop, I'm gonna buy this deck of cards and, like, again. I know someone that'll love these. Lady Gaga? These are genuinely awesome! Michael Jackson? No like that might be Jimi Hendrix. No. Might be. Again, I don't know who that is. There's either people screaming in the comments. I really don't know who that is. Uh, I don't know who that is either. These are probably very famous people that I just don't know. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's made it for me. Oh, Lemmy. Oh, Christ. Lemmy is the ace of spades. The lead singer in Motorhead is the ace of spades. Oh, and then uh, Daft Punk is the, uh, the Jokers. Serious version 3.0 because a lovely sign on it. I can't remember why they chose this design for the serious decks. There's a reason behind it. Made on Earth by humans. <laughs> Advertising with official full card. And there is the iconic pattern that all of these cards have on the back. This is really odd. It starts with the Queen of Hearts. Genuinely, that is the first one underneath that one. Like it's not a it's not a dupe card. It's not. That's weird. Oh, they're all mixed up. Look, I've not shuffled them. They're all mixed up. Why? That's so weird. Like, the Ace of Spades is at the front. That's rather annoying. But at the same time, I'm going to leave them exactly the way I found them. There's the diamond. It's got a little, like, bit of topography going on on it. Like, it comes out at you. It's a bit, it's a little bit 3D. Same with the heart. Three of clubs. Again, it's got the uh, the nice gradient topography that goes down. Ace of Hearts is just a big old version of that nice gradient. That is nice. The uh, the Queen of Spades. That's uh, odd. Do you like that? Really odd. Queen of Diamonds. Oh look, there's the Queen down there. Walking. That is really odd. Jack of Spades. The Ace of Clubs. Again, that lovely gradient. I do like that gradient. Oh, this card was backwards. <laughs> what is going on? I'm leaving this exactly the way I found it. I'm not mixing these up at all. Maybe it's part of the design. Maybe they are designed to not be in order. That's nice. Jack. Oops. King of Hearts. It is, it's beautiful. Your Orchid Diamonds. Well, there's still a few more. Uh, kings and Queens to go through. This is odd. A 
don't get this. Dog. Sirius is known as the Dog Star. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. Should we check how many cars are actually here? We don't count that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Are you ready for this? You're not ready for this. Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. There's 53 cards in this deck. I know why the card was upside down. A reveal. Which card? Oh. This card. Whoa. Reveal. Can you force it on someone? Then have them open the sealed deck and boom. Right, so because I'm retarded and can't explain it in the video, the deck is created uh, for magicians to purchase it, specifically because that card is that way up and it appears to look shuffled. And so what you do is you get someone to pick out a card. Oh, wow. It's the card that's upside down in the sealed deck that you already predetermined is the one that they're going to choose. And then they open up that sealed deck and they're like, oh wow, how did you do that? That's amazing. They've clearly put a lot of thought into it, yeah. For like the one person that's probably bought like 10 of these just so they can do that trick on the stage 10 times. That is kind of cool. Should we become a Secret Service special agent? Got the thumbprint on the back. Right, hang on. You'll be able to see it better once I've taken the, uh, the seal off. This is classified information, everybody. Quick. I must use my thumbprint to open them. And then crack this code that's on top. Um, crack. Wow, I did it. Look at that access has been granted, everybody. Hell yes. Oh, look at you need two thumbprints to activate these cards. They're like nuclear launch codes. Stop. Secret Service, Riffle Shuffle Division. They just give you like a little easter egg card as well. I wonder what happens if you scan that QR, the uh, barcode. I wonder if that's an actual thing. So there's the, the Moon of Hearts. It's got a weird design on that, the top right and bottom left. Like, uh, it's been redacted. All of the, uh, the cards have the little redacted symbol. That's odd. They don't normally do it like that. that they're off center and upside down. Now only two of them are off center and upside down. That's weird. Oh, now they're fighting. Who will win? Tops will win. Weird 3D DJ. A man. He's coming for your kids. Okay, no, no. This man's coming for your kids. Look at him. His arms overlap. That's weird. I love the way their arms, like, fucking fight each other. So weird. This is so cool. So it's DJ man, but he's opening a briefcase of money instead. What's in your briefcase? Show us. Oh no, it's secret woman agent. She'll shoot you. And then dance like Michael Jackson on top of your corpse. Bro, he's showing us his badge. You better go with him. Quick. He's just been told to put it away. And he doesn't mean the gun. Oh fucking hell, she's gonna inject you with anabolic steroids. Lance Armstrong, watch out. She's coming for your legs again. She'll shrink his testicles. He's on the phone to his mum. Oh, he's really prepared now. He's holding it with two hands. Deal with the recoil. She's looking straight at you, baby. DJ Luke is setting off a bomb from long range. I don't know. He's got... He's detecting bugs. Who knows? Burt Macklin, FBI. Secret Service, baby. Two baller hats as the Jokers. The final deck of cards. The Pierre de Resistance. The baby that has been sat in that corner. Oh. Oh. Look at it. Look at it. Twenty out of fifty. Needless to say, I shan't be opening these. Because legitimately, there is absolutely no way to guess price on these. And the only way you could get these from Riffle Shuffle 
is in this box. This specific package purchased from Riffle Shuffle. These absolute beasts. 2020 first edition, one of 3000, designed by Steve Harris and produced by Riffle Shuffle. So interestingly, nobody actually knows, as far as I can tell, as far as I can Google, um, because nobody's opened these. I don't think anyone knows if the inside, the deck is actually gilded or not. If it's gilded, that makes it a lot more special. But from what I can figure out, and from what the packaging seems to indicate, the, the only thing that is special about these is that sticker that says 20 out of 50 on mine. Or if you got one out of 50 or whatever. I don't think there's anything else special about them. But I do hope that they are gilded. Because that does make them a little bit more special, doesn't it? Thank you. In the box. Yeah, all, all these things are going to be sitting on the side of my PC. Just down here. Covering all the wires that are bulging out the side of it instead. <laughs> Riff Shuffle. 50 of these boxes were created. I nabbed one of them in probably like as soon as it went up. I reckon I was one of the first people to buy one of these boxes. Like absolutely no thought went into it. It was just ooh, ooh, ooh. got lucky I suppose. Ooh, fuck, that's chunky. Oh, I could do weights with this. Right, and that is it. Thank you very much for watching. Please like subscribe join the discord i really do appreciate all of those things have a nice day and ta -ra!